I'm now joined by Morena Bernardini. She is the Head of Strategy and Innovation at the Ariane Group. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. I'd like to start by asking you about how the launch service market looks and what are some of its challenges? Ariane Spas, which is marketing our launches, Ariane 5 and later on Ariane 6, has confirmed the trends of mega constellation for the coming years. This is a big change compared to, let's say, the last decades with the successful double launch of Ariane 5. And you see also it's defining how strategic access to space is. And we, Ariane Group, we are arriving with a new launcher uh, to be launched next year, who is actually perfectly, perfectly fitting this because Ariane 6 will be almost suitable for, I would say, all missions to orbit. Um, according to the next challenges, of course, we have to go through the maiden flight and then uh, be able to very quickly ramp up because we need to serve this market. It is not harmless that the Arenas bus already sold 29 Ariane 6, which is quite unusual for a launcher that, uh, that never flew. And what would you list as some of the more recent accomplishments for the Ariane group? Well, first I would uh, re uh, recall the, just the last uh, launch in September, we put in orbit a very important telecommunication satellite. Then I love to recall the last Christmas day with the launch of James Webb Telescope. That was amazing. And by the way, a NASA administrator came into our facilities to thank our team because we could double the lifetime of, of the telescope uh, thanks to the very high precision of the injection into orbit. And then uh, I also would like to recall the uh, um, combined test that we are now doing in French Guiana. It's, uh, it's the time the launcher is uh, meeting his launch pad and this is also a major milestone in the Ariane 6 roadmap. And what role do you see the Ariane group playing in future space exploration? Well, we are the space enablers, so of course it is our duty and, and our pleasure to put objects in space. Yesterday we revealed a, a new project, the SUSY, who's going to bring objects and humans into space. So we are very much engaged with our customers and with the research um, um, for the exploration in the future. And that's also why we suggested, we proposes a new family of launches for the next generation of our launches. Because you see, we have not flown yet Ariane 6, but we are still thinking 10 or 15 years onwards. SUSY is part of that. And SUSY, uh, with uh, the other launches of our family, will of course continue to enable the exploration in the coming decades. Marina Bernardini, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.